checking out her subscribers. She's checking out Tiny Ariel Pearl's um, new dream world video. And now she's playing Fortnite. So not a lot of cooking going on. The food's gone cold. Are you going to eat your food? Nope, back on the phone again. She's thinking about catching a train. Where is she going to go? What's she thinking? So hi, it's me, Ellie Catcraft Plays. Uh, today we will be doing episode 2 where I will be building my house and moving myself in, my ideal myself, into my house and we will be building it from scratch so first of all I have been practicing to get an idea of what I would like to achieve so we have the kitchen, the open plan living room, the bathroom um, I've been messing around with a few windows I might change these in the actual tutorial but I like the octagonal porch way so I'm going to keep that so in today's video we'll just be building this from scratch and maybe a few plants in the garden just to show you, like me if you've never done it before, how to build a house. Um, so you can learn with me. So let's get started. First of all I need to go to build mode and destroy everything I've done and my sim is going to be so upset. But here goes. So, what I did first was I see this little house, it's got uh, walls, roofs, wallpaper, wall patterns, furniture, railings, stairs. First of all, I clicked on the wall and you get three categories. You can do half walls, uh, this is like coving, I think. Um, so then I grabbed the wall. I want to do it about 15 by 15 um, and I want to do it quite close to this pavement so that I've got a side entrance So and I want a bit of a garden. So I'm going to go about here and I kind of count 15. So 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then think for the side actually, I'm gonna change it. If I remember, it wasn't quite uh, symmetrical. So I'm gonna try sixteen or fourteen. Uh, let's try sixteen. it'll give me a bit more portrait space and then if I need to correct it later ah, I will correct it right if you go up to the top bar there's a hammer which means if you click on the wall that you want to delete it you just delete the wall so that's what the hammer is if you want to move stuff you just click the arrow to move stuff so we'll go back to the wall and then we'll go across. Okay. 
So then, what I did after I did my basic structure was I got the octagonal porchway. Now you can put it in the centre. So, I put it there. And then I counted the squares to make sure it was even at the side. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Still learning how to use this. So what I want to do first is get a wall. So you click on the walls down here and a menu will come up where you've got walls, half walls or the like alcove sections I think. So I'm going to select the wall tool. Um, I want it to be about 14 by 14 so I'm going to count the squares. Checking to see if my garden's big enough. Uh, I think I might bring it forward just one. So to delete a wall, you click hammer at the top. There's like a little menu bar and you click on the wall that you do no longer want. Um, delete it or drag now I've deleted the wrong wall but you get the idea um, so now I need to do this one more up and then. so I would I want the side this side to be less roomy and that side to be more roomy so that I've got a side entrance so now I've got the basic st uh, structure, what I want to do is use this octagonal building. Um, if I've measured it right, it should be symmetrical. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's not. This needs to be one more. Yeah, so it's actually 15 by 14, sorry. So as you can see, it's quite easy to delete, but you can um, delete too much, but you just put the wall back in, like so. So then I went for the windows. So you click on the little window icon and I scroll down to find the best window for my building. And I, I like this one because it um, gives you a very roomy feel. And I then just place this central. So if you move it up or down, you can have it on the ground or higher up, depending on where you want it. As long as it's green, you pretty much can put it anywhere you want. Um, and then I put 
these on the side of the house as well. I did these two squares in from the outside of the building and that ended up looking quite nice. Over here I mess was messing around with windows because when you've got uh, like a toilet and a kitchen it's very hard to get windows to look good where you put them so. take a bit of time to figure out what you're doing but it's good fun at the same time. Nowhere near as good as some of these designers, they feel really outstanding stuff. And then, um, oh that was it, I decided I wanted to do an archway so it would be like a double door and then you have the main door on the inside, just to make it pretty really. So, um, so you click on the doors uh, and then scroll down and this one is the only one that fits this uh, octagonal. I think you can make the octagonal bigger but for now I'm just going with what I've got. Yeah, I like that. It's really pretty. And then I need to find a door that matches the windows, but also fits the octagonal. This one's quite nice. go for that one and then the next thing I did was I decorated the interior and the exterior so the exterior you click on the wall here and there's um, tiles masonry uh, rock and stone so if you click on masonry I went for this one it's the brickery with stone corner I really like that and I like the color I'm not keen on the red one I'm going to stick with the brown and then again you just do this very similar thing to when you're building the walls you just drag it if only painting in real life was this easy wouldn't it be amazing you click and drag If anybody wants to know any tricks or tips or hacks, like uh, quick hacks or uh, how to use the mods, how to get um, mods from other websites, if you go on to Tiny Ariel Pearl Play Sims 4, she does really good Sims videos. She's the one that taught me how to play this, so check her channel out if you haven't subscribed already. And this is my new channel, so please subscribe, support and like much appreciated so you just I'm going to click the archway looking nice already I wish I could actually move in in real life but it's funny when the light shines it looks a different colour makes you think that you've done it wrong but you haven't so now I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do the walls once I've decided where the kitchen's gonna be. So let's go back to the main wall. So I think what I did was One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put the kitchen in there. Put 
kitchen here where the bathroom will be And have it like open plan so I think I did four so we'll do that so now for the walls I want some blue no actually for the kitchen I went with a country stone Yeah, so it's in the stone. I picked the natural stone. So click all the way around. I'm not gonna do this side of the wall because I think that should stay wallpaper because it's still part of the living area. Next, for the floor, which is next to the wall patterns, I'm going to pick a tiled country floor for the kitchen. Here, I discovered you can click by room, which covers the whole of the room, or click by tile. So, because I only want this section, I'm going to just drag and Click the section like that. There we go. So I may go quiet for a little bit so you can just see what I do. And I'm going to get started with building the kitchen. Uh, so this here, where the house is. So that's the kitchen floor. So now what I want to do is design the kitchen so I'm going to click where the chair is with the box so there's like a box with a chair sat inside and you can find that there's toilet, bathroom, bedroom so you click on the kitchen and you click on each individual object that you would that you require for your kitchen and then just place it where you want it so I'm going to get started on the kitchen, you can watch but I may not talk very much so let's get started. One thing I do, which I'm sure I'm annoying you just as much as I annoy myself, is when you click and then you miss where you want it and you have to go all the way around again. <laughs> like, ah! Okay, so light. We want, I think I went with these rustic ones, which are. These are really nice. They just like hang down from the ceiling.
that's the light. Um, and then we need to add some accessories to the kitchen, like microwave, coffee. So I struggled to find where this was at first, but I clicked on the fruit bowl and I found quite a few things. just realised, I think the sink would be better there. Yeah, that's better. And then I can put that there. And then, hmm, coffee machine. Definitely got to have a coffee machine. And it's blue, of course. Put that there. And then, hmm. <laughs> Yeah, put it that way. Make it easier when it comes to Okay, so that's the kitchen. Um, I think I'm going to now do the carpet. So I want a nice deep blue carpet. So click on this one. Heavy traffic. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Pick that one. Really nice. That really hard to control. Okay. Oop. No, I've left the building. <laughs> okay. There you go, carpet. Now we can do the bathroom, and then once I've done the bathroom, I can figure out what windows we're going to go for. So back to the box with the chair. So I need to have some kind of tiles for the floor. So let's pick um hmm. 
just stick quite neutral. I think bright colours are nice on the walls. So, I'm going to stick with this because I, I know it's for the outside, but sometimes the outside on the inside looks really nice. light So I'm just going to add a plant or two before I put the door in um, and I've just figured out how to make it bigger so you need the little uh, bracket so if you want your plant bigger than it is and the other bracket if you want to reduce the size that's quite handy I'm going to go for this one Um, now we need a door. I think I'll have to experiment with the plants. So I'm not quite sure how you put the plants on top of things like shelves and stuff. So I'll come back to that on another episode. I'll make sure that I cover that on another episode for you. So a door. Door, 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 door. So we use that one. I'm going to use the same one. You can come in either way, into the bathroom, or through the back garden, or through the under the stairway. I'm going to put some steps on the top here. Now we need to do the wallpaper for the living room, which will be like an aqua. I'm going to go with a teal. That will really brighten up the room on the carpet. next to each other make it a bit wider mm, yeah. so you could have like a little cozy area over there um, actually Thank you. 
いいかなって上。So I'll put the door there. Let's go into the bathroom, move some things around a bit. Because my laundry thing has now disappeared. Okay, so I wanted to move the door over to this area because I made a few adjustments to the bathroom. Because when I put the stairs in, I want the stairs to go over the top, like this. And I'm going to use two lots of stairs. And the stairs wouldn't allow me to have the door there. So I'll just quickly show you what I've done to the bathroom. I finally sorted out the plants a little bit. So that looks really good. So now um, I want to go on to the window because on the outside of the house it's really hard to figure out what windows to use and I don't think we're going to have room to have a window in the bathroom. Maybe not the kitchen but we'll have a look. So but this here I want to kind of be still symmetrical and let some light in. So, Gonna have a look at the windows. Um, this one here is like half of that one, so I'm gonna give that one a go. That one, I think, will work. I haven't got the shutters, but if you are, say, if I put a sofa there, it could be like a little reading corner. That would be quite nice. So now, what I want to do is focus on the kitchen. Now I like the idea of having completely different windows for the kitchen. So, um, yeah that won't go. Kind of still with the same theme because the, the windows are kind of across. And being able to look out while you're washing up is nice. One there, and one there. I think we can just about get away with that. It, see, for me, I like everything equal, so that does come kind of annoying, but it does give it a really nice look. Comment down below what you think of the windows of the kitchen, but I think that's nice. So now we've done the kitchen, the bathroom, the stairs, going upstairs, and the living room. Now in order for my sim to be happy while she's waiting for her house to be done, 
she needs uh, somewhere to sleep and somewhere to watch TV. So, first of all, I'm just gonna do the walls for this alcove. Because I've just noticed that they are not complete. In order to do the floor with things like this, you need to put the walls down, which is on your right hand side, if I didn't tell you earlier. So we're going to stick with the same theme inside the house. Now, so we need a um, TV area. So in the one I did before, I had the sofas here, the TV there. So I might change this area up a little bit, but for now we'll just do the sofas down here. So we'll go to the living area, click on the sofa, and my favourite sofa has got to be these two. I they just absolutely adore them. They are so gorgeous. Ah! I don't know what I just did then, but undo it quick. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did then. Okay. Super. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to move my thin. Because she is in the way. So I've moved my sim, now I'm going to, if I can't get space that close, strange. Right there then. There's nothing there, so I don't quite understand. And then we'll get this one. Okay. And then I almost forgot we need a side door, so I'm going to get this one that I did in the picture before because I think this is gorgeous. Change the plan. I'm gonna pick that one. So that is different to the one I picked before. But I've just thought if you've got arches there uh, you really do need a door to kind of match the arch of that on the outside, so yeah, I think that works. So I think that'll be it for this episode. Um, yeah, because I've just realised the arch matches the arch on the porchway so that is perfect so now for now I'm not going to do any more I'm just going to show you how my sim interacts with her house even though it's not finished she looks a little uncomfortable let's find out what she needs so we click down here and she says she needs to be social so There's not many people around at the moment. 
I can't click on anybody. So let's try... Is she watching the TV? So watch... Comedy, that might cheer her up a bit. Sit here. So you've got the bladder, hunger, energy, fun, social, and hygiene. So obviously, if you've never played Sims before, you need to have them have a shower, go for sleep, eat food, bake food, interact, go to work, and make friends, all those kinds of things. So. Poor me. I've got no friends. She's looking at her phone as if to say, nobody loves me. <laughs> and I'm watching a really cool TV show. Looks very in entertaining. Some crazy dude with crazy glasses and a moustache. Oh, she seems a little bit happier. She's a little bit inspired and now she's going to use her new toilet. Let's see if it's fully functional. Yep, seems to be okay. The only thing I forgot was lights in the toilet. Um, because obviously there's no windows, there's so hardly any light. So on the next episode, episode 3, I will do the lighting in the toilet, we will do the upstairs, we will do the garden pool and the porchway decorations. So thanks for watching me Ellie Catcraft, um, subscribe, turn on the notifications if you haven't already and like my video. Comment down below if you think I should do anything else in this video or what should I do with my sim when she finally gets her house up and running. Thanks so much. Goodbye!